Hello, welcome to our video tutorial on how to use our lap joint gadget for VCarve Pro. So the first thing you want to do is uh, after you start up VCarve Pro and your job setup screen, ensure that your desired properties of the board, the width, height, and thickness, make sure you're working on the units you want to work with. And after you're clicking OK, you want to navigate to our the gadgets pane and click on lap joints. And here is where you're going to enter in the, your desired parameters. So I'm just going to change the angle of the joint. We'll make that an acute angle, say 45 degrees, we'll keep clearance, and you are going to want to click apply, and then close. So after you're creating your parameters that you uh, want for your lap joint, you want to go to layers, and uh, uncheck the layer one, and you can pick between board one and board two. For the purpose of this, we'll just unclick board two, so we're just looking at the layer of board one. Um, after selecting that, you want to con you drag your mouse over the, our shape to select the entire shape or you can hit control A and you'll see how this turns purple that means the shape is selected once you have selected our shape uh, for board one you want to go to the toolpath panel and click on pocket toolpath and make sure these are these parameters are as you requested specifically make sure the end mill is what you entered in the lap joint gadget interface after going through this you can hit calculate and it'll bring up a 3d model of the board with our cut so you can select the speed of it we're just going to go full speed right now you'll see that made the first cut for our board after it makes that first cut you can hit uh, close and then you can hit save toolpath and you can save that toolpath and now we want to repeat the steps for the board too after creating the first board the creating the toolpath for the first board we want to go back and create the toolpath for the second board so you can go back to new you want to so, uh, deselect the board one layer and then select the board two layer and hit close and now we need to highlight uh, the shape again so you can drag your mouse over it or hit control A simply. After hitting control A go over to the toolpath tab and hit pocket toolpath. Make sure these are the same. They shouldn't have changed between creating the last board and this board. And then you want to hit calculate and this will still have the cut that we did last time so you just want to reset the preview. And you select the speed. So we're going to do it full speed again, and this is the cut that we desire. So we're going to hit close, save toolpath, and then you can give it a name if you want. And then we want to save toolpath, and you want to save the toolpath to um, wherever you want. If you want to save it to a flash drive, so you can plug into a CNC machine easily, or save it somewhere else. That's up to you. So we see here we have a test cut of a joint that we did earlier when we were testing our product. And uh, you can see my pen is pointing is a little bit of leftover on the bottom board. You want to mark along the line where that pen is, make a line, and you can cut that part of the bottom board off with a saw of your choice. And you can do the same. You flip it over and mark the other side and cut off that part, and you will have a lap joint. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoy using some of our other gadgets. We have some on our website at bitdust.onucs.org. And after watching this on YouTube, there will be a link in, in the description. So thank you very much and have a nice day.